Microsoft Word 2.10, Captions. Manually adding a caption to an object. Here we have a typical Word 2.10 document. It's got a picture in it, a table, and there's another picture down here. So first of all, we'll select this picture here. Then click on where it says References. So click on the References tab. And then within the caption section, click on where it says insert caption. This brings up the captions dialog box. And by default, this is the first time we've uh, used this option. It'll say uh, figure one as a title. We can use other things. So for instance, we can use equation, figure, table. Um, but in this case, it's a, it's a picture, so figure will do just fine. The position you can have above or below. So below is normal, so we'll leave that as is. You can exclude the label from the caption if you want to by clicking on this, but we'll leave it in, which is uh, the normal way of doing things. There's various other things you can do as well, things like uh, numbering and uh, auto caption. We'll look at these later. So in this case, I'll just simply insert a caption. It'll be called figure one, and it'll be below the selected item, which is this item here. If I click on OK, there it is. There's my figure. If I scroll down, We'll click within the table here and repeat the process. So make sure we've clicked on the References tab up here. Click on Insert Caption. And notice, in this case, it's saying Figure 2, Figure, below selected item. Well, this is actually a table, so I'll change the label here to Table. So in this case, it'll be Table 1. Notice it automatically uh, renumbered that. Do you want it above or below the selected item? I'll have it below. I'll click on OK, and there it is. There's my caption. We'll do it one more time. So we'll click on this one here. We'll click on the References tab. If it's not already selected, go to Insert Caption. It's um, still talking about tables. That's the last thing we used. So I said, no, actually, no, actually, it's not a table. It's a figure. We'll have it below the selected item, and when I click on OK, notice it says Figure 2. If we go up to the first figure, that was Figure 1, so it automatically worked out that this is the second caption um, relating to a figure that we'd inserted, so it gives it the uh, number automatically, Figure 2. So there we are, that's our caption Figure 2. Here we've got Table 1, and up here we've got Figure 1. So inserting captions, simple as that. Adding and removing caption labels. Here we've got a document and it's already got uh, a caption inserted into it. So if I want to um, remove this label here, where it says figure, I can select it. Now, normally when you want to select something, you can double click on it. As we'll see in a minute, this is not the correct way to do it in this case. We need to select the whole thing because as you can see, the word figure is selected, but this, bit is, this uh, number isn't. So if I move over to here, if, when we move into this area d down the screen, that's called the selection bar. Notice as I move the mouse button across, it changes. And when it changes to that shape there, if you click, that will select basically the entire item to the right. So now everything's selected. As I say, that's the wrong way of doing it. This is the right way of doing it. And you'll see what in a minute. So we've selected this. We want to uh, remove the, um, the label. So we go up to References here, go to Insert Caption. This is as it was before, but I'll click on Exclude Label from Caption. When I click on OK, can you see what happens? The label goes and you just simply get the caption. If I undo that, let me just show you the wrong way of doing this, which can be a bit of a mess. If I double click on this item here, which is the wrong way of selecting it to do what we want to do here, go to References, go to Insert Caption, and say Exclude Label. As you can see, that's not quite what we wanted, which is why you have to be a little bit careful in what you select. So I'll press Control Z one more time, do it the right way, select it, click on the References tab, insert caption, exclude label from caption, click on OK, and then we have the, um, the number without the label. Incidentally, if you want to get rid of the, uh, the label, an easy way to do it is just double click on the label, which is like purely just the label, and press delete and there it is it's gone
If we go down here, we've got another caption. To delete that, double click to select it, press delete, it's gone. Changing the caption number formatting. Here we've got uh, a picture and it's got a caption underneath it. I've uh, clicked on the picture to select it. If I click on the References tab, go to where it says Insert Caption. Uh, from here, I can click on the Numbering um, button here. And from here, I can change the, um, the numbering system. So for instance, let's say I want Roman numerals, so the, uh, um, the normal numbers, I could click here. If I wanted to do ABC in caps or in small caps or in small letters, I could use click here. So I'll click on the um, ABC in caps just so you can see the difference. I'll click on OK and as you can see it's changed. So I click on close and as you can see it's changed this one as well. So that's basically how you change the, uh, the um, numbering within the captions.